Hello, what is up guys? It is Dave from PC Collective, and today we're playing more Amnesia. <clears throat> I was going to play The Forest today, um, but then I was like, nah, not kind of feeling it. And then I was going to play, uh, do an Overwatch or something for Counter-Strike, and I'm like, eh, not really feeling it. So, um, I just bought this game, and uh, I liked playing it the first time, so figured why not just make episode 2 right away. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to go ahead and continue. And as you can see, it is a little bit darker in my room. Um, it is... Let's see. It is 7 a.m. in the morning, so... It is uh, pretty... It is decently dark out still. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Um, let's light this. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. I don't remember what we need to do. Let's uh, go to our journal. Evidence in the laboratory is powerful acid. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Okay, so I need to go to the wine cellar and make an acid for the flesh wall thing. Do I have any oil? I do. need to find the wine cellar. Are we not in the wine cellar? I feel like that was the wine cellar. See, is that now wine or ingredients? What is this? Can't use those. Okay, so I don't think the ingredients are in here. I guess it's talking about a different place that's a wine cellar. Uh, we'll try going up at, on a Tuesday and uh, <coughs> hopefully find uh, where to go in here. How are you guys doing today? Directly preceding this video, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch.tv. Oh, Sella Veneria. Alright, cool. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch.tv slash PC Collective. I'm going to be streaming uh, Counter-Strike. It's locked and will not open without a key. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming Counter-Strike directly after this video. So When I'm live down there, there will be like a little pop-up that will say, I'm live, come watch now, or something like that. So yeah, come check it out, bruh. Now, what we need now is a key, <coughs> which I don't know where to get. Okay, we already checked that, I guess. Okay, yeah, we're over here. And it came out of there. These stairs were not broken before, I don't think. Where do you get the key to the wine cellar? Did I miss it in the laboratory thingy?
Let's check down here. Board it off. Weird. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will range for a total of three years. Oh, excuse my cat in the background. Is he done? Will range for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. So annoying. Shush, Felix. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. Might not have been good to throw and earn. Okay. It's a little suspicious. Historia Loci, local history. This is like an identical room. It's weird. Do you hear that?
Hmm. Okay. Jeez. What's this book? Manga Nine. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever Felix. seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Hmm. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. That was weird. Was I just in here? Yeah, I was. Bro. <clears throat> oh yes, my favorite book. My, f I love Warmen in the Reich. It's a great book. Alstadt in the Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstadt. Deep within the East Prussian woods for centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit, albeit, the area is haunted by the dark, dark, 
Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some modus motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move slightly, silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, vis- visited Elstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years ago. Ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet inn in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, Alstadt, and like most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the historic... Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. (sighs) That was a lot of reading. Sorry about that. Oh, my favorite book, War Men and the Reich! Some oil. Nothing in here. I still haven't gotten a key yet. Okay, that's sealed off. And I can't go in there. And then there's nothing in here. So I guess I have to go through here? Is there another lever I missed? Okay, because this is locked. Is the key from one of these? No. Let's light this so I don't have to use the torch. Um, maybe the key is like hidden in the bookshelves or something? Oh! So what does that mean? What does that do?
Okay, there must be another lover book that I missed. Oh, here it is. Okay, any more? I think that was all of them. Was that not it? Was that the key to the wine cellar? Yes, it was. Hello. Okay, I was already in here. I'm nervous. I know something's gonna scare me soon. Oh, there's the monster. Oh, I got chills. Okay, but I need to go that way. I'll make this a 30 minute episode. Oh my god. What was that? Oh. Okay, now where was the wine cellar? Over here? It's the lab. Cell of an area. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, I got a lantern now. Okay, I think we need to break down this wall. No. What do we need to break? 
that. Maybe that's all you need to break. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Wilhelm's well, last words. I'll read this and then I'll end the episode. Because this is going on 30 minutes. So sorry I didn't get scared again, but... Uh, really interesting game so far. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brandenburg as most of the aristocracy. I was curious about what this... Uh, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of this contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would arrest, attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position with noble society, within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children alike to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicious suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin have been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. Wow. So... Wilhelm was capturing live humans, and then the Baron poisoned all of them in the basement. Wilhelm and his men. Huh. Alright. Well, this is interesting so far. I like the, uh, I really like the game. <coughs> Excuse me. 
uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go end the video here. It's been 30 minutes. Um, yeah, let, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to keep playing. Hit the like button. It really helps me out. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and hopefully next episode we can get scared. We did see the monster, though. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode.